Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from Ethereautomation.com and welcome to another video of our automating Flutter app with Flutter Driver course. And in this video, we'll be talking about running our first Cucumber test that we have written in our previous video using the custom runner, which is available in the Flutter Gherkins package. So basically, I'm just going to copy this particular uh, code from here and then I'm going to create two files this time. Uh, I'm going to call this as Kirkin or maybe BDD dart dart and then BDD underscore test dart dart file. So within this BDD underscore test dart dart file, I'm just going to copy paste the whole uh, code that I have copied from here. And this BDD dart dart file is going to be exactly the same instrumentation code. Uh, that we wrote in our previous video. So I'm just going to paste this over here. That's exactly the same thing that there is no change in here. It's the same instrumentation code, just that these things will change, right? So we don't really have a hook file. So I'm going to be removing this and we don't really have this step file because I'm just copy pasting things. And I know I'm going to call the steps that we had written in our previous video. So once again, if you have not watched my previous videos, please go ahead and watch the previous video because this video is going to be a complete continuation of our previous video, right? So as I said, I'm just going to be deleting this step file. If I hit control space, it will tell me like what is the step file sitting in here, which is nothing but the initial state of app dot dot file. And you can see that there is this future of the main method. So what is this future of the main method actually does? Basically, this main method is going to be the initial starting point of the Flutter Kirkin to execute the code. But it sees certain configurations like this one, Flutter Trust configuration. This Flutter Trust configuration, if you just go over here, you can see that there, there are different properties available. Something like reset up between uh, scenarios, target app, build flavor, uh, build, and target device ID, uh, and uh, there is something called set observatory de debugger URI and create flutter driver, create flutter world uh, and things of that nature. So once you have all these things in here, you need to pass those parameters here. If not, the test is not going to work because that's what the Gherkin runner basically expects. So this Gherkin runner uh, is something which is going to be executing your whole code that you have written so far. So it's going to be the test runner basically. So I'm just going to remove the hook and I'm going to specify the step definition in here. So the step definition is nothing but our initial state of app class file that we just wrote in our previous video, this guy, right? And there is no custom step parameter definition as well. So I'm just going to remove that. That makes our whole test runner basically. So we have called our step definition that we wrote in our previous video into this particular dot file. Hope it makes sense right now because I know it's a lot of confusion in this here in this area, at least in terms of understanding the BDD itself. But this is what the BDD has to be written uh, in this particular fashion. Again, the limitations of reflections as we have already discussed. So now comes the final thing, which is nothing but executing this particular code. In order to execute that, it's been the same command, flutter driver, target, test underscore driver. And then you need to specify BDD underscore test, uh, BDD dot dot. So underscore test is going to be automatically uh, suffixed once you run that. So I'm just going to hit that and you can see the test is running and we'll open the emulator this time. So you can see that we just want the test to pass just to verify if the value is zero, that's what we wrote in our uh, previous video, in our step here. So we're getting the counter value from the UI and then we're going to verify the value as zero. Oops, it says app dot dot not found. All right, uh, it may be because of the target app path. So basically, I actually have to change the target app path to BDD dot dot. Oops, sorry for that. So target app path has to be changed. And uh, now I'm just gonna execute that. And let me open the step so that we can relate this. There you go, the app has got opened. Yeah. 
and it just got passed. As you can see, it says like given I test the initial set of the app uh, has got passed over here, which is pretty cool. So now we can see that we could able to verify uh, a particular step definition using this particular scenario. So if you don't believe me, I'm just going to change this value to one uh, and then I'm just going to run this again. You should see this time the test should fail. Basically, it's going to get the counter value as zero, but the value that is that we are expecting it to match as one and the test is going to fail. There you go. You can see that this time the test has got failed and it also says that the actual is zero, which is different. So the expected is one, but the actual is zero. So different differs at the offsets of zero. Cool. So now we can see that we could able to verify the value as expected from the BDD style fashion of coding. So now you understand how the given with world, which is nothing but just with world, uh, how things are working. So there are too many things to be understood in at this point. We have used the page object model code that we have written in our previous video, the home page star dot. And we also saw how the asynchronous code is actually working with the await statements and how the BDD fashion code is actually working with a separate stuff file for each and every operation. Like for given, you need to have a separate class, which is given with world. And with world means there is just a world of Flutter and the Flutter world actually has the Flutter driver being instantiated. And the Flutter driver is going to be invoked using the world property of step definition generic. And from there, I'm just going to call the driver. And this driver has the instance variable of the Flutter driver itself. And then we are calling the step definition that we have written in the runner, this one, the PDD test runner. So this all makes the whole test to be executed without any problem in the BDD style fashion of the Flutter driver itself. In our next video, we are going to be working with even more step definitions, like working with a parameterized step definitions. And we'll see how we can make use of the code execution much faster, much better with a actual feature, not just with one step definition within one scenario. Thank you.